course, with all the books, and I need to um, share my January book haul or the rest of it. You've already seen a few um, because I just ordered my February book haul. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, let's just dive right in because I'm on the way to Wendy's as soon as I finish this. So let's go. Um, a few that I've already read are 84 Charing Cross Road by Helen Hanf. I just finished this um, this morning, so hot off the press. And many thanks to Jacqueline for gifting me this um, or passing it along. She had already read it. It's a delightful epistolary um, of book lover lovers one to another. And then um, Lena Devani, Seven Lives in One Great Love, Memoirs of a Cat. And this one is translated by Konstantin Moutsakis from the Greek. This one is A Cat Lover's Delight. Um, I think I first saw this one on Jenny King's channel, a gorgeous Europa edition, might I add. And then a uh, transcript by Heimrod Bakker. This is uh, concrete poetry pulled from Nazi um, material during World War II. A heavy read. I saw this on Brian from Bookish's channel, and I think he originally saw it uh, recommended by Mark Nash. And then uh, Ermgog. Ormgard Coin, The Artificial Silk Girl, and this one is translated from the German by Kathy von Ankum, uh, and this one I saw Sean read and just had to get after he kept gushing about it. Um, so it's set, I believe, in Germany between the wars, maybe? I don't remember. I read this one in December, but it was just such a fun read and I think um, both of the naughty Germans had recommended it. <laughs> Britta and Mel. It's a little uh, memento moriathon joke there if you're not familiar. And this one was translated, sorry, by Patrick Greeny and Vincent Kling. So doing well incorporating um, my translated fiction so far this year as well as um, my German reads for the German readathon. So uh, and then the lovely Charlotte sent me uh, Fountainville by Tishani Doshi. And I know nothing of this, so um, it was a gift and a lovely, lovely one. French flaps. I love them. Look at the back. So nice. Okay, and then I have my two impulse buys from the airport. Uh, you may have seen these if you watch my Honduras vlogs. I got The Heartbeat of Wounded Knee by David Truer. This is Native America from 1890 to the present. Book 2 Prize Long List 2020 Nonfiction. And Hollow Kingdom by Kira Jane Buxton. I heard Kendra Winchester talk about this one. And yeah, it's a YA fantasy. And I think... I think the raven's name is Shithead, which is what reeled me in. Okay, and then I have three um, for my South African reads. This first one is The World That Was Ours by Hilda Bernstein. This one I've had in my cart for ages. Um, it's a Persephone Classics edition. And this one, I believe, is... Um, one of the white Afrikaans, I think, ANC members that escaped to Europe um, before or during the Ravonia trials. And then Country of My Skull, Guilt, Sorrow, and the Limits of Forgiveness in the New South Africa by Anchi Krog. This one is um, with the... Uh, South African Truth and Reconciliation Commission um, right after apartheid finally fully ended. 
So I've heard great things about this one from Sean and Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me. And then um, The Woman Next Door by Yawande Omots Omotoso. This one I think is to curmudgeonly ladies um, in South Africa. And um, this one was long listed for the Women's Prize two or three years ago. But um, Tanya from um, The Sampler Girl read it recently and really enjoyed it. So I wanted to read that one. I was really interested in it when it was long listed for the prize as well. So I'm happy to finally get to it. And then um, Black History Month is coming up and Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading always does uh, read so lit, hashtag read so lit, uh, read along. And the read along for February is The Last Thing You Surrender by Leonard Pitts Jr. Uh, Pulitzer Prize winner. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Nice chunky February read there. Uh, my next one for the German, read German lit readathon, year long reading challenge, I guess, is Gentleman Jack, a biography of Anne Lister by Angela Steidel. Steidel. And this is translated by Katie Derbyshire, Katie Derbyshire. Um, yeah, and this one is a um, Regency woman who does whatever she wants to do, apparently. So, here for that. And lastly, um, these are Memento Moriathon picks for my first week of February. So, I'm going to get started on them soon. Uh, the Prime of Miss Jean Brody by Muriel Spark. Adam is a big Muriel Spark fan, so looking forward to this one. I've heard it's quite a buzzword around YouTube over the years, the prime of Miss Jean Brody. So there you go. I will be back soon because I got to get in gear. I got to film my January wrap up tomorrow and then... Um, I'm going to have to film another February haul soon so that I can then film my February TBR talk. And I, I have been owing a bullet journal video for weeks and months. So there's that. Yeah. Get with the program, Doris. I'll be back soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.